Well, while strong artificial intelligence attempts to make a plausible argument that machines could one day be thinking things, and the Turing test offers us up a test for how to determine if a machine is a thinking thing, not everyone is on board with this idea. And John Searle offers up the Chinese room thought experiment to help us see the difficulty. All right, so I want you to consider that there is yet another room, okay? There is yet another room and there is a uh, table in this room with a book a very very thick large book of complex set of instructions kind of looks like a podium doesn't it sorry and we've got mary mary is in the room with this complex set of instructions and a whole bunch of cards with characters, pictures on them. There is a little slit in the door. That's not a little slit. There's a little slit in the door that Mary receives cards from outside the room. Based on the cards, she gets, she goes to her complex set of instructions. She retrieves another set of cards and hands them back through the slit in the door. So she gets cards in the, in the thought experiment, they're Chinese characters. I can't draw Chinese characters, so we're just gonna call them symbols, okay? So she gets a set of cards that have pictures, symbols on them. Um, okay, it has symbols on it. And these four cards, she goes to her complex set of instructions, which is a lot like a dictionary. Like she goes and she says, okay, well, first I'm gonna find, you know, where this card is first. Then I'm gonna find that symbol followed by that symbol, and then by this symbol, and then by that symbol. What happens next is she hands back cards with symbols on them according to the instruction book, okay? So, okay. So she gets these four cards. Her complex set of instructions says to hand back these four cards. This goes on and on and on and on and on. She does this again and again and again. Unbeknownst to her, the card she receives from outside the room asks a question. What happened to the wolf at the end of Little Red Riding Hood? The card she hands back answers the question. Uh, the wolf got hacked up by the woodsman. This goes on and on and on and on. Outside of the room, the people have absolutely no idea what's going on inside the room. They can't see inside the room. All they know is they are getting flawless responses from Mary. They come to decide that Mary understands Chinese because they're getting flawless responses. The problem is Mary doesn't understand Chinese, okay? The idea here is that the Turing test shows us that program, programming produces behavior that seems like understanding, okay? Consider our computer that's taking the Turing test, uh, Compi that's chatting with Bob. Compi is following programming. 
programming gives us the rules for using the symbols. Okay, it's, it's syntax in a language. The rules for using the symbols. We all have rules. English has rules. When making a claim, you must have a, a noun first followed by a verb and maybe followed by an adjective. That's the rule for making a claim in the English language. The problem is, is that understanding comes with the meaning of the symbols. Mary is simulating the programming, okay? Mary's following the rules. This complex set of instructions is giving her rules for using the symbols, but it's not offering any understanding. The semantics in a language has to do with the meaning of the symbols, and that's not what we're getting. Behavior is demonstration of being able to follow rules, but it is not evidence of understanding. And the point of the Chinese room thought experiment is that the appearance of understanding is not evidence of the existence of understanding. Okay, so while the behavior of Compi and of Mary makes it seem like there's understanding, John Searle says that's not actually evidence of the existence of understanding. Does that make sense?